Hey, how you doing? Greetings, friends, family, and generally the internet. About 15 years ago, something happened to me, and it completely changed the trajectory of my life. It gave me a career. It brought to me almost everything that I recognize in my life nowadays, and it is entirely due to uh, two or three people and a brand. Um, and that brand is contained within this case. Roughly 15 years ago, I was a clinician demonstrator for an English acoustic guitar company called Faith. This is my uh, my Mercury Parlor. This is what I use for most of my clinics. It's just it's just beautiful, beautiful guitar. I was a hired gun for Faith Acoustic Guitars, playing little clinics in guitar stores across the country. But it just so happened that for one of these clinics, a gentleman called Bruce Perrin came along to check it out. Bruce um, was one of the people that owned this guitar company. And he was quite surprised because many of the, the people that turned up to watch me play and perform recognized who I was and wanted to get a photograph or whatever. And he said, Rob, why is it that they even know who you are? And I said, well, it's this thing called MySpace. <laughs> because at the time, it really was MySpace. And I had just started something new called YouTube. And he said, what's YouTube? And I said, well, it's kind of like a underground radio station video thing where you can say what you want. Um, and I used the analogy of something called Radio Caroline, which was an old pirate radio station. And Bruce got it. And he said, you know what we should do? We should make you 50 electric guitars and we'll, we'll brand them uh, Gold, which is their own brand electric guitar company, but we'll put Chapman on the headstock and it will be a signature guitar for you and hopefully we'll sell all 50 of them. Just tell me what you want, send me an email and then uh, you know we'll, we'll go ahead and make 50 guitars. And I just couldn't believe it. I was demonstrating guitars like this. This particular puppy is a Mercury Parlor Scoop. It's a Blue Moon. Um, it's absolutely stunning. It's so easy to film and photograph. It, you know, it really takes a lot to make this guitar look anything other than utterly spectacular. Faith have always made amazing acoustic guitars, beautiful bracing. Um, a lot of the design work was done by Patrick James Eggle. And I needed to buy an acoustic guitar because I was headed to Abbey Road to record with the unbelievably amazing and legendary Eddie Kramer. to Stag Music in Trowbridge in Wiltshire and I bought my first ever acoustic guitar which was a Faith. And so that's how I got in touch with Faith Guitars. Anyway, had a handshake over a McDonald's meal with Bruce Perrin and agreed to make 50 guitars. Bruce introduced me to Alex Mew and Alex is such a great guy and he and I went through the design process to create the first ever um, guitar that had my name on it. It wasn't yet a Chapman guitar, it was a Gould. Gould is an own brand of the distribution company that, that sells Faith, which is called Barnes & Mullins. So this Gould was gonna have my signature on it because it was a signature guitar. That's why I scribbled on a piece of paper my actual signature, which was a big mistake, the bank didn't like that, and put it on the headstock of this guitar that we were going to make. I 
didn't know what I wanted to make. I loved every kind of guitar. And so I went online and I spoke to people on one of my forums at the time and I said, look, help me out. I don't know what to make. Can you give me some suggestions? And I had all sorts of feedback and we had loads of fun just talking about the different kinds of spec that we would go through and, you know, ended up with an ebony fingerboard, which the factory made twice as thick as they should have done, but it was really interesting the way it sounded. A reverse headstock so that there would be a lot less string buzz of the headstock, nut ring, if you will. Um, mahogany body, we ended up with all sorts of interesting spec HSS, the trem block, if you remember the trem block with the original Monkey Lord incantation. My nickname at the time, as given to me by people that followed me, was the Monkey Lord. I didn't choose it myself. And so we kept the ML from Monkey Lord and the first guitar that came out was gonna be called the ML1. And then we ended up making hundreds of ML1s um, because it, it was so popular, sold loads of them. Anderton's noticed that they were selling. Long story short, Lee Anderton said, hey, that did quite well. Do you want to do another one? And Bruce Perrin said to me, you know, this is a brand. You should really release this as a brand. And in fact, the first guitar, although the number one prototype had the brand name Gould on the headstock, when we made the production model, they removed Gould and just released it as a Chapman. Chapman Guitars was born. I never intended or set out to own a guitar company ever in my life. I was just, I kind of always have been really, a guy that played gigs in pubs on the pub circuit in Wiltshire. Um, I had ventured as far as London and maybe a touch of Glasgow. And the birth of Chapman, you know, from faith to where it is now has been unbelievable. And that is entirely due to the brilliant people at Faith Acoustic Guitars and Barnes and & Mullins, and in particular, Alex Mew and Bruce Perrin, who honestly were just incredible. Um, I owe them the biggest debt of gratitude on the planet because, I mean, I wouldn't have a guitar company now if it wasn't for them. But anyway, <laughs> they still make incredible acoustic guitars under the brand name Faith. And if you've never heard of Faith Acoustic Guitars, I recommend you check them out. They are beautifully made. They are, I mean, I hate to use the term workhorse, but they're workhorse acoustic guitars. They come with really nice specs, you know, beautiful woods. Go and take a look on the website and just marvel at the glory of the kinds of tree wood that you can enjoy. Um, everything kind of feels very well put together. It's not a super affordable acoustic brand. It's not like a Martin. It's a guitar that you would gig. It is a working acoustic guitar. They come with good electronics. For example, this Mercury has a Fishman um, in it and it's got tuning and you know mid treble bass and volume and everything that you would need. I've only ever used Faith. I've never recorded with any other acoustic guitar. Um, I've always found them to be exactly what I needed at the time. Something that I think is kind of a signature vibe of Faith and I'm not saying that they play like an electric guitar, but they certainly feel reminiscent of an electric guitar. So if you play a lot of electric and you haven't really gone into acoustic, which is kind of counterintuitive, but that happens a lot more nowadays, you would find it easier to grab like this parlor and start, you know, shredding on it. You, you can bend and... In fact, I overbent then. <laughs> I normally tune mine down. I write the majority of my riffs on an acoustic, have done for years. Almost all of the Dorje stuff I wrote was on a parlor from Faith. Um, it's just so accessible. And when you have kids and you don't have time to quickly plug in, switch on an amp, wait for the valves to warm up and all that kind of stuff, 
it's great to just sit down and just have a nice acoustic resonating in your lap. And you know what? So many people have said this to me and it's absolutely true. If a song works just with an acoustic guitar and a vocal, it's a good song. And if it doesn't, then probably it needs work. And I've always held up to that. Most of my tunes are born on an acoustic guitar, they're born from faith, and they end up on a Chapman, um, being electrified and volumized and all that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm bringing it to your attention because I know that Faith um, have just, just got into America. And I know that loads of my American friends have probably never heard of the brand Faith and probably should do. Anyway, I've been Rob Chapman. I fully endorse Faith Acoustic Guitars. They gave me an entire livelihood, career, trajectory. Probably wouldn't have met my wife if it was for them. <laughs> so now you know. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Chappers out.